the 9th of May 2011. We're doing the West Island Way again. We're back in Fort William, so if you'd like to pan around, Ray. You've got Ben Nevis, going to Glen Nevis. So, this is a pretty similar update for those that are familiar with the last video we did. Once again, we're getting the train in the morning, and once again, we're off to Fort William for some beers. See you soon. Welcome to Mulgai. It's the uh, 10th of May 2011. It's about half past 12. Actually, it's one o'clock at the time behind the Edmonds here. Uh, we're about to start the West Island Way again. Welcome to Gartness. Uh, it's about quarter past four. We've been walking just over three miles and we're just over the 10 mile point. Feeling fresh, feeling good. Two and a half miles from Driven. Have a quick look down there, right? Fantastic little waterfall. Let's keep moving. About 12 and a half miles in now. Uh, it's taken us just over three hours. And our next stop is the forest for wild camping and fun. the 11th of May 2011. We've camped in the forest just about two and a half miles out of Drimmen. Uh, as we were getting here last night it started to absolutely throw it down whereas yesterday the weather had been okay. We had a, a few light spots of rain but nothing too serious. So we got into the forest, found the first place we could that was decent and pitched the tarp. Another look Ray. So we didn't do much last night other than get a tarp set up, get all the sleeping bags in and the bivvies and stuff like that, get a meal on the go. It's now morning obviously so we've got another uh, another meal on the go as well. We're going to use the water to make a coffee and then first point of call for the day is Conic Hill. So we'll update you more from there. Welcome to the Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. So we walked from the forest this morning over Connick, you may have seen the other update earlier. Came down into Balmaha, the usual uh, toilet block, they've got a tap on the side, we usually use that to fill up our water, but the toilet box closed, I don't think they're going to reopen it either. But we went to the Oak Tree Inn and uh, had a great coffee there, free Wi Fi, fantastic. They let me charge my battery for my phone as well, which is an added bonus. So we've moved on a little bit. We'll probably be about two miles outside Balmaha. The eventual stop point for tonight is Bainglass at Inveranen. So let's do it. Welcome to Inversnade Hotel. Um, we've powered on, that's the only, ex the only uh, explanation really, we've uh, powered on from 
ride on an hotel. And I'm from Balmahar and beyond this morning, the forest. We've got another seven or so miles to do to uh, main class tonight. So this next bit is a bit of a pain, but we can do it. It's about half past five, so we're expecting to be at Inverarnon at Bain Glass by about eight o'clock, maybe half past. So we'll keep you informed. See you there. Welcome to the Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. We're just, we're probably about two miles out of Inversnade on the way to Bain Glass at Inverarnon. Uh, just powering on. We're about to, well, we're not far from like the 20 mile mark today. It's been quite a good day so far. We're just getting our heads down and getting on with it now. Got a nice beer and some food to look forward to when we get there. Ray's listening to a little bit of Disturbed. I've got some uh, serious Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack going on. Awesome stuff. Right. We'll update you more a little bit further on. Say bye, Ray. Bye, Ray. <laughs> Morning. It's uh, Wednesday, the 12th of May. We just set off from Bainglass campsite. <laughs> it says, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Morning. It's Thursday, the 12th of May. Uh, we just set off from Bainglass. We stopped there last night. Uh, we're a little bit late to setting off this morning. It's just gone 10 o'clock. We've had a breakfast there and stuff like that, and had a shower and. Just got ourselves a day from yesterday. Yesterday was a bit of a brawler, about 24, 25 miles. Not quite worked it out yet, but it was a big one either way. So today's plan is just head for Tindrum. We're going to see what the weather's like. We might push on to Bridge of Orkey or we might stop at Tindrum and make it a little short today. But uh, we'll just see. At the minute it's showers and then stopping, a little bit of sun, so it's quite changeable. So we'll just have to see how we go. But for now, let's do it. Now the sun's come out, finally. We've we'll stopped this nice little waterfall. So we've got around about another four and a bit miles to go to Tindrum. And we're toying with the idea of maybe having a short day today because of the rule of yesterday. If not, we'll push on to Bridge of Orkney. But no doubt you'll find out the next update. Welcome to Tindrum. We've uh, had a bit of a short day today from Inverarnon because we couldn't be bothered to walk any further. Yet we can be bothered to walk for a beer. Yes. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> Fools. Oh well. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday the 13th of all days. Uh, we set off from Tindrum, Tindrum, however you want to pronounce it. We set off from there about an hour ago. It's been raining for about an hour and it's stopped now. And we've got some beautiful blue sky just up there. Somewhere. Up there somewhere. Um, bridge of walking just over the hill. The eventual stop for tonight is King's House. Uh, what we've done is, King's House is a notorious 
notorious bottleneck and the weather's going to be absolutely rubbish tonight so we've got a uh, hostel at Glencoe so we're just going to get a taxi or the bus down there and uh, get it back in the morning and continue on for tomorrow which should be the last day hopefully so the weather's not too bad at the minute I'm going to keep the camera back in the bag I'm going to keep it back in there just so I don't have to keep getting it in and out because of the rain right we'll update you more further down Serious rain is going to throw it down again. Welcome to Rannock Moor. It's around about 1542. Uh, Bay Bridge is just there, or Bar Bridge, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. It's very vast. Every time we do an update, it just seems that we're about to do one just before the rain's about to arrive. And it's about to arrive again. And we've had uh, been treated actually for the last hour or so. The weather's been quite fine. If you look that way, that's pretty much what we've had. If you look that way. That's what we're about to get. So we better get the water rooms back on again. See you later. Morning. Um, it is Saturday. Not sure what the date is, I'll put it across the screen now. Uh, we're just at the base, at the bottom of the Devil's Staircase. We set off from King's House around about an hour ago. Uh, we've only just had time now to uh, do a video because it's been absolutely thrown it down this morning. Okay, let's eat more. Down into Glencoe now. And then up the Devil's Staircase over to King Loch Leven. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's hope the rain stays away for a little while now. Welcome to the top of the Devil's Staircase. Well, I say the top, the top's just up there. Um, I've stopped here because of the magnificent view. Let's get it on video. Um, I'm not sure how long that's taken, to be honest. Uh, I think we set off Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, yeah. ten to nine was it? It's now 28 minutes past. So, uh, doing quite well to be honest. Nice little zigzag path for those who've done it before know how bad it is obviously. It's a bit of a thigh burner but it's early in the morning so we're not too bad. Along the way, I've been using my iPhone to post uh, beacons to social hiking. So the people back home on Twitter or the people back home who have been looking on my website have been able to follow us. To follow us at every point. I've been posting a beacon wherever, wherever possible whenever we've got signal we just had signal now and this will be the highest beacon so far it said 524 meters on this one on my phone but it should be a little bit higher up there so yeah if you look on my website there'll be the track log for the whole trip it should be quite an interesting little uh, map we've got going see you see you further on So that, my friends, is just the top of the Devil's Staircase there. Every last step of it is worth it to see that. Absolutely fantastic. Over to the Mamor Rangers. A little bit of snow, fresh snow on top. It uh, snowed last night and the night before. Uh, just over about 900 metres. A little bit of rain over there. Hopefully it's not coming our way. So now is the descent into Kinloch Leven. Let's do it. Right, we're in Kinloch Leven. The, uh, the mighty black pipes. So uh, we're going to stop for some lunch now I think. And then it's the final 40 mile grueler across the top of the hill just there. Welcome back. 
We've just done the uh, climb out of Kinloch Leven. We're a little bit out of breath. <laughs> really warm, it's raining. Uh, but all's good, still feel good. We've got another uh, 13 miles to go perhaps. So I'm guessing, it'll now be about one o'clock. So we should be in Fort William by around about six. So uh, we'll keep you informed. All right, people. We've uh, we've come up the big long valley, uh, Larig, up the Larig from uh, Kinloch Leven, and we're not too far now from Glen Nevis. The fo you have to wind up and down in the forest and then it drops over into Glen Nevis. And if you look there, just round the corner of this little hill here, in the distance, looming in the cloud, is the mighty Ben, Ben Nevis. So that's our first little view of Ben Nevis. Remember last time we were here, it was absolutely throwing it down. And uh, we didn't see the Ben Nevis until the next day. So, <laughs> to the day after we finished. So right. I'm guessing another couple of hours maybe, tops. Right, let's do it. So the forest we remember on the way down into Glen Nevis and all that sort of area is no longer a forest. Right, this be it. First real view down into Glen Nevis. And what hopefully is the final descent of the whole WHW. Still feeling good actually. Should we turn back when we get to the end? Yes, I think. <laughs> so. And that's it, Glen Nevis. Ben Nevis up there. So it's the final descent now. So about an hour's time we should be finished. Nice one. You may have noticed we've changed clothes. We uh, walked out of the forest. Um, we walked down into Glen Nevis. We decided that the temptation of having lots of beers tonight too great. So what we've done is we've set the tent up at Glen Nevis campsite, which is where we've left our car all week. We're now going to walk the last couple of miles into Fort William to finish the way and we're going to have a one or two, maybe four or five, celebratory drinks. So follow us for the last few steps of the West Island Way 2011. Right, we're at the original end of the West Island Way now. Not the official anymore, still the original, where we've ended it in previous hike adventures. So now, we're gonna walk the rest of the way into town. But well, that is closer to the pub, 